This is the northernmost town of Sweden. Welcome to Kiruna. It lies above the Arctic Circle, which means that there are days in the whole year where in the summer, the sun never sets for weeks. And in the winter, the sun never rises for weeks here. But luckily we are here in neither of the two extremes. We are here in the February March season, which means it's a good time to see the northern lights also. We'll show you around what all activities you can do here and how life goes on in the Arctic. Wow. Wow. How is this so transparent? <laughs> One of the most unique things that you can do in this town is to sleep in an ice hotel. You get to sleep in a room like this, which is decorated with ice all around. Literally an ice block here. So you sleep in sleeping bags in the night to stay warm. And in this hotel, none of the art suites are exactly the same. Each room has a different theme, different sculptures inside, different art pieces. Like this room here has a theme of museum. So it looks sort of like a museum. I'll show you the other rooms also. Let's check the strawberry room. Wow. <laughs> That's the bed. There's even books to <laughs> books to read and a table to sit on. Okay, this room is called Lucid Dream. This is something you might see in a dream. Stories that lead into nothing. And this is our room for tonight. It's called dream in a dream and it's beautiful we're gonna sleep here tonight our bed is behind this wow look at the details on the wall it's amazing yep. fun fact it's about minus five degrees in here right yeah minus but five thanks to our super thick snow suits we don't feel cold at all yeah like i could spend all day here here around the in the ice hotel is coming from the Torna River, the pure mm -hmm. Torna River. It's super clean water mm -hmm. on top, and then one hand on the shisel. It's good to work with two hands mm -hmm. because uh, if you stand like this and scalp, and then you slip into your arm, not nice. This area is the ice sculpting class area where we each get a block and one and a half hours to sculpt anything we want from this block of ice. And this block of ice comes from the river nearby, which gives it the transparent look that you see. Normally ice has a lot of air bubbles in it, like the one in your freezer. So that's not the kind of ice. This one is coming out straight from flowing river. This is actually pretty easy to sculpt. Yeah. It's almost like butter. <laughs> So I'm planning to draw a face also. That's why I drew the eyes. <laughs> you see the nose, the mouth. Now I'm trying to carve like this. So the roundness comes. Oh, let's so, see. Look, look, this is the nose, lips, eyes, and this is the crown. Um, this whole like, thing is, yeah. a, is the crown. I'm cutting my skull. It's almost done. Yeah. There oh, go. yes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Please very heavy and once our sculpture is made we keep it there and replace it with a nice block from here back on here so the next person can do the sculpting and the glue here is actually the water which acts like a mechanism to stick the ice block on the surface Kiruna is a very small town in Sweden with a population of 22,000 people. It was originally founded in the early 1900s as a mining town because currently there is a, one of the world's most modern mines, iron ore mine, is in Kiruna. But there's a lot of activities that you can enjoy here, like one of them is going around on a snowmobile. So now we are going to go on a reindeer tour, meeting the reindeers here and we are getting all warmed up for it. I rented these boots which are extremely big and thick, but at least they'll protect us from the snow and the cold. We'll be staying outside for around four or five hours. So actually we're not gonna drive the snowmobile, but someone else is gonna drive the snowmobile and we're gonna sit on the sled behind. Oh, wow. <laughs> it really is like a roller coaster. 
I feel so cold in the face. You too? Okay? Yes. yes. Not too bumpy? No. 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 Nice. That's good. Uh, in just a few weeks, this forest will be filled with uh, reindeers and reindeer tracks. So, this is the moss which we'll use as reindeer food. We'll use to feed the reindeer. Over there. <laughs> They're really running after the food. <laughs> the, one with the, the one with the antlers I have to be very careful about because they may go in my eyes or face. They are crazy <laughs> <laughs> about the food. Uh, why, for example, only here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, what, what is she doing? <laughs> so, and why some have none, some have big ones. And that is because losing the antlers and growing new ones is a part of the natural process. Surprisingly, the one with the antlers are not males but females because the males lose their antlers after mating and the females have the antlers to protect their calves. Now we're going to use the reindeers for these sledges. And traditionally it's always the reindeers who have been used for sledding. The dog sledding thing is actually a new thing. Uh, and when we go, we go one reindeer, one person. So you will be in charge of your own reindeer. Mm. <laughs> wow. Helmet on. <laughs> that noise, that high pitched call, is a signal for the reindeers to actually go faster. <laughs> but they stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fast. Hey, hey. <laughs> he ran very fast at one point. Yeah. Okay, your turn to race now. This one. Go, go, fast. <laughs> One thing to definitely do if you like reindeer and are interested in learning more about indigenous culture of the region is going on a tour to experience the traditional Sami way of life. Reindeer are an important part of cultural heritage of the Sami people, so you get to meet, help train, feed and even raise reindeer. We also ate traditional reindeer meat served in flatbread with hot lingonberry juice at a cozy fireplace in a tent and got to know about Sami storytelling. You can already hear dogs in the background. They seem very excited for pulling us on a sled. Okay. And here we go. Now they stop shouting. <laughs> as soon as they are running, they stop shouting. <laughs> right now, what speed are we going at? I would guess we're going about 17. 17? Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, now they're all eating the snow. Okay. Yeah, they eat the snow because they think it's warm today. 
So with eating snow, they cool down their own bodies. So it's not for the water itself. So unlike the reindeers, you don't actually need to tell these dogs to run because they are bred for running. So they automatically have this instinct in them that they will run and pull the sled along. You don't have to constantly be like shouting, run, run, run. <laughs> and dog sledding is a relatively new thing in Sweden. Traditionally, they've only used reindeers. Dog sledding was more common in Alaska, Canada and all the other places. But here, this is something very new. So for pulling four to five people, you need a pack of around 12 to 14 dogs. And it depends on the amount of snow that there is and the conditions that there are, how many dogs that you should actually use. If the snow is thicker, it's harder to pull. So you need more dogs to pull the people. That's enough, thank you. Do you have lingonberry juice? Uh, we have, but you can have a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I like neither tea or coffee. <laughs> You never get tired of it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's good with sugar. Thank you. <laughs> so it's time for our Swedish fika again. We have some lingonberry so juice here. And have you have some tea. We'll have and we'll make fire again. <laughs> mm. <sighs> it's so warming. It really warms you in the body from inside. <laughs> There's also a nice ice bar here where everything is made of ice and you get served drinks in ice glasses. But don't drink before going on a snowmobile. Ice tables, ice sofas, <laughs> and ice walls, ice chandeliers. This is the ceremony hall. You can actually get married here. And of course, one of the most magical things that you can see in this region are the Northern Lights, which we were lucky to encounter on one day of our trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below and subscribe to the DW Travel channel to watch more such videos on travel.